Hi, and welcome to another episode of Type With Me. In this episode, I will talk about Dino and working with WebSockets. How we can create a simple chat application with Dino. So let's start it. So first of all, you need to have Dino installed, right? You can very easily do that with, uh, for example, just use a curl command. You find it on the website of dino.land. So that's very easy to do so. Uh, what you can do also is just check which version you have on your PC of Dino. Right. So first of all, I'm going to uh, add this piece of code to my application. And then we can very easily do Dino index.ts to get it started. You will see that he will download all the packages that he needs, right? And then he will ask me to have access. Um, I say a now always, and here we are. So when we now go to port localhost 8000, you'll see that we get a hello world, right? So that's great, but that's not WebSockets, right? So let's start building out our server uh, to do WebSockets. So one of the things that we need to do here is import accept WebSocket. Is WebSocket a close event? Is WebSocket ping event and WebSocket, all right? All right, so now here I want to do the following thing. I want to have the headers and the connection of our request object. And I'm not going to do the rag.response because we are building out um, a web server that's going to handle WebSockets, right? So here I'm going to say accept WebSockets. And then for that, I'm going to have an async await method to do things with um, my uh, WebSockets. So first of all, we're going to do const it equals so dot receive and it's also nice to have some kind of console.log there right then we're going to create a constant loop while true So we're going to get DOM and value from it.next, right? Um, and then, of course, I want to do something like a try catch when something went wrong. Catch. We don't want our application to crash, so we add try catch there. So now we say that an error has happened. And of course, I want to do something like console.log value. But there are some special events, right? When we're dealing with WebSocket. So is WebSocket pen, is WebSocket ping event? It's an important one. And is WebSocket close event. So if the, these are occurring, we don't want to do 
anything with it just low it but when we have just real value coming from the client we want to do something with it so first of all we're just going to do console.log for that right it's always nice to have proper error handling so i'm going to um, replace it with proper error handling so when there is an error occurred we say what error is occurred and we also uh, do a socket dot close all right so when accepting websockets we also need to see that we catch that so fail to accept websockets and why it fails to accept websockets this is just a catch of our promise all right and that's the promise of accept websocket So it's important to have the same kind of versioning here. So here we have std add and then that versioning. So it's important to have that also here. So when we now start our server, we can grant it. And we have our local host 8000 running, right? So that's great. So what we can do now is create a client. And we can add some imports. And for these imports, it's important to have also something from um, WebSockets. But like you can see, we are going to use the standard ones right from std so that's also what i'm going to use for or server i'm going to restart it nice so we have our imports here and of course we want to start and how can we start we can do that with window.onload it's very nice but dino tries to uh, reuse things that we are used to within the browser when writing uh, our application so i also like to use it uh, that way you can also use main uh, a main method but yeah why use that when we have our uh, web browser in mind right so we're going to connect to our websocket on port 8000 so for that I'm going to do the following thing I'm going to say connect websocket to that endpoint right so when I go to a new line of code, I can say dino client.ds. And we have a connection with our WebSocket. Great. And here you will see that we have socket connected and failed to receive frame we have an unaccepted error because we already closed our client application directly after that so there could not be any handshake so the next piece of code that we need to put in is um, this one we need to have an async function which going to wait for sockets.receive messages and then we're going to print out something in yellow blue or red when we get something from our server right so that's the next thing that we can do so then we're going to ask our prompt to type something in right so we are a terminal application right now and we want to ask the end user to type something in and also here we're going to loop with a while true so 
So now we can say that we want to have something like writing that um, greater than sign, right? And then of course we need to read the line. So whenever you type in as an end user, we want to read that line. And if there, if there is an error that occurs, we're going to throw just an error, we're going to break, and we're going to loop out of this while loop, right? If we type in close, we're going to break and get out of this loop, right? Else we're going to do socket.send what we have typed in, right? And of course we need to wait a little bit. And of course, after our while loop, we need to do await socket.close and dino.exit to exit our application. So one of the things that I changed is here const line await tbr.read line because we just get um, the line from tbr.read line there. Something that has changed into the docs of dino. So what we now do is dino client.ts And you will ask me something to write. So I say hi. Message to server. And we get here hi message to server, right? So what we now can do is do something like send message to and then another client and then the server can react upon that and can send it to the right socket that's being connected to that server, right? So it's quite easy to do so and to create some kind of uh, client-server application with that. I can now type close and you will exit it because our line equals close, right? And you will exit our connection and here we get OES close thousand message back from the server thank you for watching i hope you uh, had a great time watching this video how to write websockets within dino um, and i hope to see you next time bye